guys so I promised you you guys I would bring you a Dollar Tree graveyard I wanted to show you guys how I made my graveyard using only Dollar Tree items this graveyard turned out so good I am so impressed with how my graveyard turned out I didn't spend a whole lot of money and for the way it turned out and how inexpensive it was I am so excited about it I think it looks great the girls loved it it was a lot of fun so if you guys are interested in seeing my Dollar Tree graveyard, please stay tuned and continue watching. I hope that you guys think it's as impressive as I do. Also, I just wanted to say if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you are seeing, welcome. My name is Stephanie. I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and some DIYs. I have a lot of fun videos coming out. I'm getting really excited for Halloween. So if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Okay guys, the first thing that I did and the first thing that I wanted to go in my graveyard is these three skulls. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And basically I just wanted them to sit in my graveyard and so I took the two skulls and I hot glued them together and then I took the third one and I wanted it to kind of sit crooked on top of the other two skulls and I hot glued that on top of them I thought that would be perfect to go in the graveyard and that's how it looks. The next thing I did is I picked up this candle from the Dollar Tree and also this skeleton Grim Reaper thing. Very good deal for a dollar. I really like this thing. It is creepy and actually a pretty good size for a dollar. So basically I just wanted to bend his arms. And I wanted him to be holding the candle. I got the idea from Jane Money. I will actually link a video of hers where she did a Dollar Tree graveyard. And she actually did the same thing. She wanted it to look like he was praying over a grave, holding the candle. And so that's where I got the idea. I'll link the video. It's a good video. I love her Dollar Tree graveyard. So I wanted to have something like that in my graveyard because I think it is really creepy and perfect for a graveyard. Okay, and so this these are the tombstones that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I picked up four, but I'm going to actually be saving one for a different DIY. I needed something that was going to make them stick in the ground better um, and kind of reinforce it a little bit more. I didn't have any wooden dowels or anything like that, so I just actually used skewers for my kitchen. I hot glued about three skewers to the back of the tombstones just to give it a little bit more reinforcement. However, they don't work all that great. And also the spooky wicked and keep out signs I got from the Dollar Tree and also these fen the fence, the spooky fence I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And so now we are just going, oh, and I got one more of these. So there's the one that I put the candle in his hands looks very good I think it turned out great and there's my three skulls I also got another ghost and another creepy guy skull grim reaper thing <laughs> I don't know what to call him so I'm just gonna figure out where I want those tombstones um the skewers like don't I mean it doesn't work very well it works but you could find something better to use you can see right here I try to stick it in the ground and I actually break the skewers and so I have to, I kind of have to redo it, which is fine because it actually makes the tombstone go down to the ground all the way. If you leave the skewers long, it's harder to get them all the way in the ground and the tombstones kind of stand up from the ground a little bit. But basically I wanted to take the dirt and I wanted them to actually look like, you know, graves. So... Basically, I mound up the dirt in front of the tombstones, which is good because it also hides that gap in between the tombstone and the ground, and it actually looks like it just barely got dug up, So, or they actually just barely got buried, however you want to say that.
Also, I just want to say I'm very sorry about the angle of the camera. We were trying to beat the sun as it was coming over the house because I knew once the sun came up, we'd have a huge glare in the camera. So that is why the angle isn't all that great. But at the end of the video, I will show you full pictures and a video of how the graveyard turned out. So now that we got the, the graves made, um, we put the dirt in front of the graves. They actually look like graves. They look pretty good. We're just going to, we'll probably do some more readjusting, but now we're going to take the wicked and the spooky sign and also the keep out sign. And we, we got those from the Dollar Tree. We're going to put those where we want them to go. We had a hard time getting these in the ground, so we had to kind of dig holes in order to get those in the ground. So now we're going to take the skulls. We're going to put those where we want them to go. The skulls look so good. I think it really puts the turn. It makes the graveyard really graveyardy, I guess you could say. I think it made it really look good. So I really liked those skulls. If I had more, I'd actually put more of those skulls in my grave. So, so now we're just going to kind of readjust the tombstones. We're going to make everything kind of go better, not look so crooked. We got all our little keep out spooky and wicked signs up. Okay, and now we're just going to take the fence, the spooky fence, and we're just going to actually put those in front of the rocks, and we're just going to, I only have three of them, I wish I would have had more, but we're just going to put those in front of the rocks. Also, I want to say about those, the fence, they break so easy. When we were trying to put those into the ground, we broke two of them, so just be really, really, really careful when you're putting them in the ground because they will break. So I had these hangers already at my house. In the summer, they actually hang my hummingbird feeders in my garden. So we wanted these to go in the graveyard. So we put one right there and we hung the guy who was holding the candle right above Mr. Pearly Gates gra grave, <laughs> above his grave. So. Um, and then we hung the other one over by Count Dracula's grave, and we wanted a ghost to go on that one, so. And again, we're going to have to do it. We do a lot of readjusting. We want it to look right. We don't want it to look crooked, so. So now I take that other Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper guy, and I just set him on a grave. I kind of want him to look like he is coming out of the grave or just sitting on top of a grave. I thought that would be cute. We finally got that one in. And I actually think that thing turned out really good, so. Now I'm going to just show you, I got these skeleton hand tongs from the Dollar Tree and I kind of just want them to stick up out of a grave to make it look like someone's coming out of the grave. It gives it a very spooky vibe and I really liked it. I thought that was a good idea. So I stick those in a grave, and then I also got one of these skeleton birds. It looks like a vulture, kind of. I got him from the Dollar Tree, and I just wanted to stick him somewhere in the graveyard. And then I had this skull that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I don't actually know where that skeleton hand came from. We had it from a previous year, but I'm pretty sure that I got it from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, I actually added some other tombstones that we had already in storage, so we just added those to make it look better. We wanted more, more graves in our graveyard, so. Okay, and now I'm just going to show you how the graveyard turned out. I think it looks great. I think it turned out so good. So I'm just going to let you guys see how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and become a member of my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day and a spooky Halloween, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.